When students learned to count by tens, they worked with decade numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so forth. So now we're moving into a different standard where we were asking students to mentally add or subtract 10 from a two digit number. So if students are struggling with this uh, standard right here, we want to take them back because perhaps they could be struggling with NBT3, which is working with tens and ones. So they may not be making that connection. 73, 7, 10, 3. 7 tens, 3 ones, 73. 4 tens, 2 ones, 42. So if we can go back and really work on understanding what tens and ones are, it will help us with that mentally adding and subtracting 10 from a two digit number because we're helping students make the connection. When you're adding 10, you're just focused on this four tens. So if we have four tens, the next number, five tens. And also perhaps using a number line might be of help to some students. Some students might not need it, some students might. Here we can see that five is one more. We're looking for neighbor numbers. So we had four, 10, two ones. Now we're going to change this to five tens, two ones. Let's try it again with another one. Again, cards are very, very powerful. We have eight tens, four ones for 84. We're only going to focus on the tens because we're adding, mentally adding just 10 more. So after eight, the neighbor number for eight is one, we're just jumping one group of 10. So now we have nine tens. So this becomes nine, 10, four, 94. So I'm still using that language, tens and ones, to help students mentally add and subtract 10 from a two digit number. Enjoy.